Hey guys, and welcome back to Programming Pokemon. Today we're not going to be in Eclipse, we're going to be on the internet because I'm going to show you how you can download this project on your own computer and run it without, virtually without any requirements. Alright, let's get started here by downloading the zip on the GitHub for the project. You can just put that in there on the desktop. And once it has downloaded, you open it and then you extract it. Just like always. Just like you always did with any zip file. Great, now that you have downloaded the Pokemon Master and unzipped the folder, you can go in here and you see we have the compile, we have a run, we have a run texture packer. Let's talk about that. Uh, compile will take all the code from source and our uh, the shared code from libgdx and other libraries that we use, our dependency code in here We'll take those two and compile them. Oh, run anyway. You can you can look at all the code if you want to. I'm not I'm not worried about it. I, I wrote this. <laughs> Alright, we now have a bin directory. This contains all the class files. This is our program compiled. Once we have the bin, we can run the program. Once again. <laughs> Great, so the program now runs. Awesome. Now, if I want to... Let's say I want to make a change in here. Say I want to uh, add a tree over here. I can press F12. And we now get the chords of the mouse in tiles. So, I want to add a tree to 1414. I can go in res, go in worlds, Go in the test map, that's the map we're currently using. Go down all the way to the bottom and use the command add tree. This, this file is a list of commands that will run, execute, and then build a world out of that. There's a few commands here. Uh, add object is by far the most uh, uh, powerful run one right now. Uh, there's also add tree and add flower. There's a few. There's also a teleport, which is interesting. We'll get to that in a second. Let's add a tree to 1414. Also, I'm going to go back, run the program again. We now see that there's a tree. Awesome. This tree was configured in L world objects. That's a, that, that's how this test map knows uh, what to do. This add tree command can actually be uh, exchanged for add object. For a big tree, you'll see that that is the same when I run it now. Go up here, still a tree, and still blocking our path at just the right way. Now, this way it blocks the path is configured inside this L world objects. You can see we have a small house, we have a laboratory, we have a big tree and a sign. And here are the tiles that are blocking, that are containing the object and not blocking the way. Awesome. Now if we want to, we can make teleports. You'll notice that this map right here, this test map, has a teleport on 714. So let's explore that. 714, that's this door right here. We can go into that. 
and it will go to another map, this test map indoor. And the test map indoor is of course this one, which is also just a list of commands. This in turn also has a teleport to 714 again. Which means that we can exit this room and get back where we were. Awesome. Maybe I'll show you one last thing. If I want to change the graphics, the graphics are in here, graphics unpacked. But, oh, yeah, graphics unpacked. Um, these are all the individual files. But when the game starts loading, it loads these uh, tile packs. Oh, paint. And to generate these tile packs, we use a small program called the Texture Packer. So if I want to change some of the graphics, I need to do it in this graphics unpacked. Maybe I will change the small house here. Oh, print. Edit. And I just write, hello. Or just hello on it. And I save it. Oh. Pokemon Master. Yeah, there we go. A small house replaced. Any transparency will be lost. Okay, so you don't use paint for this, use something better. Well, that just nerfed the transparency. Uh, but you will see uh, what I mean anyway, it doesn't really matter. I now ran the texture packer and it rewrote all of our uh, tile, uh, not tile packs, the sprite sheets. And if I run the program now, we should see that the house has changed. It has changed. Awesome. Now, not for the better, unfortunately. But it is very possible to add your own uh, objects in here this way. Oh, um, I, well, I need to show you one more thing. Um, inside this L world objects, you see there's an image name. The image name is the name of the graphics in the graphics unpacked. So this small house is called up here small house. If I make a new image in here I can make an object for it over here and then I will be able to add object using my newly created object over here. So I don't need to be programming anything or changing the program in any way to make changes in this world. All right, that's that's all I want to show for this time. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.